All right, let's take a look at number 10. Draw a Lewis structure. Okay, we've drawn Lewis structures before. Uh, you still have a list of steps to follow in your notes, so if you would like to, please get those out so you can follow along appropriately. Uh, the only difference is we're not looking at molecules now. We're looking at ions. Okay, so there's an overall charge that we have to be aware of. For A, we're looking at the ammonium ion, and it's got a plus one charge. So that means uh, by the time I'm done drawing the structure, if I were to go through and count the number of uh, protons and then the number of electrons present, uh, I should have one more proton than electrons because that's how uh, you get a positive charge overall. So let's go and get started. So I am going to start with the nitrogen in the middle because hydrogen cannot be central. I'm going to fill these four hydrogens in and around nitrogen, and I'm going to form single bonds. Now, you guys know that nitrogen does not want to form four bonds. It wants to have three, okay, so it can maintain its lone pair up top and be a polar molecule. But here, this particular ion has four hydrogens, so I need to place four hydrogens. Okay, the, uh, the ion is defined as having four hydrogens, so I have to account for four hydrogens. Now what that does is when I go to count the overall number of protons, uh, I got one proton for each hydrogen, that's four. Um, nitrogen is number seven, okay, atomic number seven, so that's uh, seven more protons for a total of 11. Okay, 11 total protons. So if I'm right here, when I count the total number of electrons present in this structure, the total number of electrons should be 10. should be 10. Okay. Now, going down to the kernel electrons to start with, kernel electrons, uh, nitrogen has 2, okay, from n equals 1. Okay, so we have 2 from the kernel, uh, kernel electrons for nitrogen. And now we're up to the valence electrons, so now all I have to do is count what's represented by bonds and lone pair. So 2, 4, 6, 8 plus 8 more, so that's a total of 10, right? 11 minus 10, that's a total plus 1, and that accounts for the plus 1 charge on ammonium, or sorry, ammonium. Let's do the same thing with uh, this sulfate ion down here. Now what that means, having an overall minus 2 charge, when I go to count the number of protons and the number of electrons when I'm done here, I should have two more electrons than I have protons. So let's see what we come up with. Now, in a very similar way, I'm going to draw sulfur okay, in the middle, so at least electronegative, and I'm going to bond four oxygens to it. Here's a weird thing. It's only single bonded, so we got to include all these valence electrons. And yes, you definitely want to include those. So <coughs> let's go through and see. Oh, I didn't actually finish the notation for ammonium. Goodness gracious, plus one. I'm sorry about that. So if we look at the periodic table, we see that oxygen is number eight and sulfur is number 16. So eight times four, okay, four oxygens can be 32 plus 16. Maybe 48 protons. 48 protons. Now for kernel electrons, let's look at that first. Uh, oxygen, each oxygen is only going to have two kernel electrons, but there are four oxygens, so that's going to be eight. Yes, that's going to be eight. Uh, sulfur is actually going to have ten. Ten. 10 kernel electrons, so now we're up to 18, yeah, 18, and so we're going to start with this 18, and now let's count all the valence electrons that are actually uh, depicted in this uh, model right here, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, Carry one, 50, guess what? I have two more electrons than I do protons, so I end up with a minus two overall charge, and that is represented right there, okay, right there. 
Let's finish up with number 11 here. Can we down? Draw two resonance structures for the nitrite anion. So we have NO2 with the overall minus one charge. Now when I go to draw this structure, I can use the same strategy, counting the number of protons, the number of electrons, to make sure that this is the correct arrangement. It's going to indicate that uh, I have my lone pair, I got my three bonds for uh, nitrogen made, uh, but I have a, a weird, interesting number of, uh, or should I say an off number of lone pairs on oxygen because there's an off number of bonds on oxygen. Remember that each oxygen wants to have two bonds total, okay, because it's got, uh, they originally come with two unpaired electrons. <coughs> but here's the thing. The question is, I here have depicted this oxygen that I've drawn on the right as having the double bond and the oxygen that I have on the left having the single bond. How am I supposed to know that this double bond is on the right and not on the left? Well, the thing is, it's actually going to be a l kind of, in a way, both. When we say a resonance structure, means the structure is stabilized by resonance. It means that electrons involved in this structure are bouncing back and forth. They're resonating between two locations. And so what is going to happen, this oxygen wants to have two bonds. It doesn't want to have three lone pairs. What's going to happen is these two electrons are going to have a desire to move down and create a second bond, a double bond. Well, that is going to not sit well with this nitrogen, so that's actually going to drive these two electrons out and become a lone pair, leaving this oxygen with a single bond. Well, guess what? That's what this structure is. That's what this structure is. And so what's happening is these, uh, these electrons are going back and forth between, between being a lone pair and a bonding pair, lone pair, bonding pair, lone pair, bonding pair, lone pair, bonding pair, and you're actually switching back in between these two structures almost instantaneously. Because remember, electrons don't necessarily follow all the, all the classic rules of Newtonian physics. And so what the, the real version of NO2 minus 1, right, the nitrite ion, is actually a combination of these two things. In real life, strictly speaking, uh, nitrite is a combination of these two things at the same time at the same time the actual bond length of these two oxygens is never uh, the same length as a single bond it's not even the same length as a double bond it's actually uh, closer to the length of a 1.5 bond which isn't really a thing that we uh, we have but that bond length suggests that it is but again this is stabilized by a resonance these electrons are moving back and forth uh, almost instantaneously <coughs>